600 metres to go, then a small group of riders coming to the line together. Pietro Matteo switches to the right-hand side of the road. The two riders from Visma Lisa Bike on the front now. Matt Brennan being led out by his Italian teammate. A couple of riders from Bardiani as well, including Luca Paletti. He's got Vicento Rojas working with him. Don't rule out the big figure of the German Nicholas Berens there from Lidl Trek. Berens now switching onto the wheel of Matt Brennan. Brennan, Brennan and Berens finishing fast down the middle. Brennan, though, just about holding holding off the challenge of the German. That was very close indeed. But the British rider from Visma Lisa Bike takes the win on the final stage. Matthew, your team didn't have uh, the success you expected for different reasons, but you take this win on the very last day. Age 18, is that the way to handle the pressure? Yeah, I mean, it feels really good. I think we've, we've had quite a lot of setbacks this week and I think to finish it off like this has just made everyone's day. So. Yeah, it's been brilliant. This morning, you knew that you had to be in the breakaway for winning. How yeah. come? Yeah, I think it was just one of those things where we looked at the course and as a team, we decided that the best way was to make it really hard. And yeah, from the start, we just kept firing guys up the road. And yeah, eventually it worked and the breakaway stayed away. So yeah, it's good. And you had the advantage of the number. Was that important for staying away? Yeah, I think. Especially on the, the flash pass of today, it's, you just needed the, the guys there. But, uh, but yeah, I think they all kind of did their part and we eventually, you know, we got close to being caught sometimes, but we kept being thorough with it and kept pulling through and it, yeah, worked really well. Winning so young uh, on the eighth day of racing, which is uh, new to you, uh, does it show that uh, you are ready for the World Tour? Uh, I, guess, I guess so. I mean, I think today I, I woke up this morning and I told the coaches this is, I woke up with probably the best feeling that I've had all week. So, yeah, I think it's nice to have such good legs at the end of our long, hard racing uh, week. Uh, but yeah, hopefully it translates onto something in the future. All the best for your career. You've started well. Thank you very much. Yeah, no, this time it's done. You have won the Giro Next Gen. Is it too early to realize? Oh, it's incredible. My team uh, did a incredible work at the SCF. I don't know how to thank them, but they did 99% of the time the work. I did nothing and uh, yeah, it's crazy. I have no words for this. Have you been worried uh, sometimes with the riders who were in the breakaway? Yeah, for sure. Oh, if I didn't have my team, yeah. It was uh, probably gone the jersey. Uh, yeah, uh, my team did so great work. <laughs> In the last uh, kilometers, last 10 kilometers, you were at the front of the bunch, uh, not, not, not your team. What did you have in mind at that time? Yeah, I needed to. Uh, yeah, Greg Sepul told me if I, yeah, if I uh, keep riding because they wanted to go for the station and I want to say say for the GC, of course. And uh, yeah, I need to pull uh, sometimes again to yeah. I, my team can do everything, but sometimes you need to do it on yourself, but my team did everything. You are the youngest uh, winner of the Giro Next Gen so far, but it looks like you will stay in the under-23 category next year, so you have another chance next year to confirm your win. Would you like to come back? Uh, yeah, of course. I will come back for sure. That's one thing that, uh, that I'm sure about, that I will come back next year. You said in an interview that uh, the Stelvio is your favorite climb. If the race has the Stelvio, will you come back? <coughs> For sure, but without Stelvio, I will also come back. Thank you very much. Well done.